Hello, so I'm going to do a retake of this Barbasol Extra Moisturizing with Vitamin E. Again, because I nicked myself in the first take, so I'm going to make it a little bit better for you folks. So for my second take on this matter. So, shall we get to shaving? Okay, I did my shower, did my hair. And Sinatra, Lennon, this is for you. I'm going to have this on standby in case I nick myself. It might seal the pore that caused the nick. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to finish it off, if I don't nick myself, with some Stetson. The new aftershave. Original. See how it works, so. Let's begin. One thing I hate about stubbles is they're hard to get rid of. Especially when you're using a safety razor. It takes more than one pass to get rid of it. It has a nice scent to it. Extra moisturizing vitamin E formula, and it's very good. But don't eat it, it's shaving soap after all. I'm gonna stay away from where I nicked the last time so that way I don't hurt myself. When I shave. So I'm going to stay away from the nicks. So that way I don't have to do this two, two weeks later. A retake on the matter on the review. So. Alright. Lathered up. Good. I'm going to stop right here. So I don't nick anything on that side. So. Sorry about the noise. Now you get your razor wet. Hot water. And let the razor do the work. Now. I'm going to start on this side. And go 30 degrees. Only 5 centimeters roughly. To start. No longer. And rinse your razor off so it doesn't get that gunky. And always shake it out. That means any hair that's remaining on it, you have to shake. So let's do that. I gotta use my hand here. This is a tough spot. And I didn't nick myself that time. On the first take, I might have. Alright. Wild neck here, not nothing to worry about. It's the severe necks and the cuts that I won't be showing on YouTube for that purpose. Damn, right on my chin too.
Some of you want to know why I do my lips last. It's because I want to do let that set in a lot longer before I start tackling it. Because it's a tougher area. So that's why I do it last. Because I like it to set in before I start Okay, that's all the hair from that pass. So I'm going to sh try shaking the razor out like this. Derby blades are a little bit aggressive, so I'm not going to recommend this, but for those who like an aggressive shave, I recommend it. But I'm one that wants a close shave, not an aggressive one every time I look or turn around. So. I'm going to dump this and I'm going to pause my board. Okay. Now, Pat, dry on the towel. If you don't, you only got one face to look after. You can't keep slamming yourself, you know, like roughly with a towel or slapping yourself with one because you don't want to do that. So, I'm going to, since I didn't nick myself as much, I'm not going to be using my skin bracer. So, but if it burns, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use my Stetson. Yeah, too much. It's going to hurt. A little small nicks, but what the hell. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Ah. Ooh. I say Stetson's all right, but it's just, I don't particularly like it because it's like too much or too heavy, depending on how much you want to use of it. And then you pour it out and it, you get a whole mess of it. Just like the old spice, you get a whole mess of it in your hands. And I don't like that at all. But the Derby Blade is all right for an aggressive shave. Like if you've got hair out here. But I don't recommend it for a stubble because then you go and nick yourself like I just did a couple times. So for a minor nick, I would recommend a less aggressive blade. But I'm not a genius at this. I'm just a beginner at this safety razor thing. I'm more or less a cartridge guy at first. But then someone got me hooked into a safety razor. And that was Sinatra Lennon and my parents. We're tired of me nicking myself, so I wanted a safety razor. So I got one for my birthday. So, but yet yeah, I'll treat this one with respect because it's a very old, nice one, nice beauty too. But I love this blade and razor. I mean, I love the razor, but not the blade because it, it's too. The heft goes a long way on it, but it has good heft when I'm going like under here to get something. So it has good heft, but when you gotta go over here, you gotta angle it a little bit different just to get your chin without nicking your side of your face. So I love this. So I thank you all. This has been Riker Shaves, and I'll have another shaving soap. I'm at the shaving mug soap review in four weeks. Well, it's three weeks from today because I'm gonna let this grow out a bit before I, you know, do another shave brush demonstration. So, but I'm gonna be using this soap next three weeks from now. So. Look for that, and 
I'll see you in the next video. This has been Riker Shaves.